from the Nikola Tesla Research and Development Centre. This is a uh, new permanent magnetic bearing. Um, that's floating. There's no Z-axis adju adjustment yet. The reason that there's uh, black tape on here is because um, there's literally a nut. Just stainless steel nut tapes onto both sides just to give it a little bit of to push away from the edge. So, considering there's no adjustment on this at all, and there's quite a bit of contact, yeah, you can see it's not not particularly stable yet, but that's solvable. Uh, it's quite interesting the way it's bobbing around. So, if I put some z-axis adjustment on that uh, it should be a different story also I've made these adjustable so they can adjust in and out um, fully adjusted in uh, it's not stable at all uh, fully adjusted out the shaft which weighs about five kilo uh, two two kilos per end and then the shaft's about a kilo um, it just falls through the gap so yeah, it's quite interesting. But um got much better design. This is just this is literally just the start of it. Um but it's nice to see that that's that's keeping five kilo um levitated. So it should spin for quite a long time when it's got um the Z axis adjustment on it as well. Yeah, I thought you'd like to see that as it is. Just change the position. Slightly made the made the gaps a bit wider. See they they were touching on the previous video. And um yeah, when I spin it now it's it seems far more far more bouncy. It's a lot more Buoyant. So, regardless of um, those positions, it's definitely in dire need of the the z-axis adjustment, which is going to go can go up and down there with the needle point. Uh, there's going to be a nut on this side uh, with a thread going through. Um, the nuts that are currently taped to the back of there are going to go up on the adjuster so it can be positioned up and down there with the needle point. This is stainless steel 316 which is quite hard um, compared to aluminium anyway and um, yeah the needle point is tungsten carbide so tungsten might uh, might cut into the stainless so um, that could be a potential problem, but um, could uh, put a tungsten carbide disc onto into the uh, stainless if need be. I'm um, sure it'd be alright just for basic testing. You can hear the, uh, the tape rubbing on the wood. So I think it's pretty safe to say that the uh, the closer position um, was uh, more stable um, for for a six magnet design. There's a magnet in there, there one in there, and same over this side. Um, these can actually hold two magnets if they wanted to. Um, could always change these so they held uh, two as well. But the new design. It's actually got six magnet, six of these 
and um, six that side, six that side, and they're all fully adjustable. Um, I don't think at the moment we're going to need to to double up, double up these, uh, but a fully adjustable design that can surround uh, this, so it's not got any way of um, bouncing around. And uh, with the horizontal, with the horizontal permanent magnetic bearing, um, any magnets that are above uh, don't need to be as close as the ones at the bottom um, because of the weight of the rotor. But if it's a vertical, um, it's a vertical magnetic bearing, then you want them all in as close as possible with no contact. And uh, with this design, you're kind of limited by what magnets you can encase. Um, you want them encased because magnets don't really come with threads. So um, it's much safer to handle as well. Um, cost wise, 316 is recommended, um, but on a budget, aluminium. Um, is fine, any grade of aluminium really. Uh, there is a better grade of um, stainless that was pointed out to me by a YouTuber um, that's using watches, but it's big, big money, so that's a bit overkill. But yeah, I think we'll be going back to the previous position and adding the Z-axis adjusters. So. Uh, Give you an update when I've done that. Just a small update. Uh, we have two kilos extra on this side and two kilos extra on this side, so that's a guaranteed nine kilos with the magnet with the magnets adjusted into that position. So yeah, I mean the new the new position I'm gonna try. I'm just waiting for a couple more magnets to arrive. There's gonna be one there these would be wider uh, but this one will be adjustable up and down and same on the other side and we can kind of like triangulate uh, the rotor or the axle should I say and um, once we get it stable we can start adding um, some rotating rotors and um, see how stable we can get it don't really want to go to um, the 14 magnet design that's six of these per side and then one on each on the shaft but that might be what it takes to fully um, stabilize it so it's solid and it'll hold um, a decent weight uh, 30 to 50 kilos perhaps um, but stable so won't be any of that nonsense. The beauty about these mag permanent magnetic bearings is there's no input power so if you can actually get them so they're stable and hold a decent weight um, and fully adjustable in the X, Y and Z axis then uh, you've got something that no other bearings offering and um, that's why I'm pioneering this particular line of research as there's no input power and um, that's pretty beautiful if you ask me catch you on the next one